What's up, everybody? It's the Digital World Podcast. Let me show you a video that I think is it's going to pique your interest. Because I am truly, truly concerned. And I, I mean, when I see the things beforehand, I know what's coming. And it's concerning to me when I have conversations where I speak with other people and they're not concerned. And it reminds me of how unprepared the majority of the populace is. Now, I wouldn't say I'm prepared by any means of the imagination. I don't know how long it's going to last or what's going to happen. Exactly. You never know. You can't tell exactly or precise how it's going to happen, but you have an idea of such things. And I think that in order to get people to comply and to be on board with the agenda, there's going to have to be a lot of things that are accomplished and it seems to me like little by little slowly but surely it's happening and this situation like i presented yesterday of what's happening in canada is a real good indication of of what's going to transpire worldwide eventually i was on this channel i said keep an eye on australia new zealand uh, Canada, because they're setting precedent. And the fact that the Western world is not in, it's not, excuse me, it's not talking about what's happening in Canada it should tell you all you need to know. The silence is deafening. And here's this clip I wanted to show you because, folks, it's serious. Take a listen. Look, you've just compared people who may have donated to this to the, the same people who are funding maybe a terrorist. I just want to be clear here, sir. This is really important. A lot of folks says, look, I just don't like your vaccine mandates and I donated to this. Now it's illegal. Should I be worried that the bank can freeze my account? What's your answer to that? Well, if, I think if you if you are a member uh, of, you know, a, a pro-Trump movement who's donating hundreds of thousands of dollars or millions of dollars to this kind of thing, then you ought to be worried. So, and, and forget about whether it be Trump or not. I don't care about that. I've made it very plain and clear that I'm not on either end of these politics because at the end of the day, it's uh, wings of the same bird. What's worrisome is that whatever group they end up classifying as being a terrorist or a threat is now going to be shut off. Who cares if it's pro-Trump? Who cares if it's against Trump? Who cares if it's anti-this, anti-this, pro-that, pro-this? Doesn't matter. What matters is the precedent that this is setting. And it will then allow these government measures to be implemented on your bank account. And... Whether you like it or not, we're a lot more digital than you realize. You depend on a lot of things. And it can, it can be stopped instantly. Yeah, you might still be able to get your hands on some cash. But for the most part, you're pretty stuck. Let alone we go into a world of CBDCs. Oh man, now, now you're talking about all new different kinds of measures that can be enforced on you. And this Ukraine-Russia thing, keep an eye on that. I, I think it, they might be diverting your attention from other things going on. So something to monitor. Nevertheless, folks, I hope this video has and, and this coverage of what's happening in Canada allows you to see and peel behind the, the curtains to see what this actually really means. So... 
Without further ado, thank you for watching. Like and subscribe to the channel. This is the Digital World Podcast, and I'll see you in the next episode.